See this? Oh my god. See, this is even cool. <laughs> the poor kitty. Look at the cat. Oh my gosh. Poor, poor little guy. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, today we are back at Renninger's Antique Market um, in Adamstown, Pennsylvania. The last time a lot of you had asked, which Renninger's is it? This is the one in Adamstown. Um, so we're here again today. The last time we were here, we barely saw like a third of it. So we're going to try to see some more of it today. I'm not sure if we'll be able to finish it. But we're going to go in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay, well, we decided to kind of start at Daryl's booth today. I just noticed this. I believe it's a single head. Pick it up and check it out. Ooh, it's mounted. It's mounted on wood. Ooh, what is this? Oh, these always make me so nervous. Only a hundred dollars on that. Wow. I'm gonna have to censor that. Yeah, there's a stangle. It doesn't have a price on it though. There we go. Juliet was just pointing out this beautiful glass. She's got good taste. <laughs> Kinda like that face back there. They've got 225 on the fish face. And then these two fishes down here. Fish, I guess fishes. Is it fishes or fish? Fishies. Fishies? <laughs> They're $50 for the pair on those. There's another fish. Yeah. Now, since we just got here, <laughs> thank oh, no you problem. very much. Great. $45, sis. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see the bugs. <laughs> he wants to check out your bugs. <laughs> Those are cool, huh? That little butterfly is a high altitude mountain butterfly. Oh, wow. Wow, that's so cool. And what's amazing is we're used to the regular lowland butterflies. Mm -hmm. They have camouflage underneath them to protect from predators. Oh, really? And these guys don't have yeah. predators, so they're as colorful on yeah. both sides. Oh, that's so neat. That's wow. cool, huh? Seven or eight of them on that big butterfly. Oh, wow. Look at the giant beetle. You like bugs, don't you? That's like his jail photo, and those are his uh, fingerprints. A little bit different than they do nowadays. <laughs> and then there's another one right there. What did he do? I don't know. It doesn't say what he did, but obviously he got in trouble, huh? Do you think it's wood? Uh, I think it's plastic. No, I think it's pottery. It's a pottery bird. I like it too. That's really neat. We can see what the price is on that. Looks like a dragon and lotus pattern. And cobalt. I have to get a price on that. A little puppy dog with a ladybug on his tail. That's really cute. I need that lamp. You need that lamp? Okay, so we ended up paying only $3 for the carnival glass bowl. It had a little chip on it, but I feel like at three bucks, you can't lose on that. $3 for the little dog and $20 for the parrot. Um, so we're gonna keep going. We lost Andrew, he's way back there chit-chatting. Um, so we also lost our cash because he's carrying all the cash. So I have to find an ATM. <laughs> you came back with the cash. Yeah. It's a little rough shape. Yeah, a little bit. I've seen worse though. Yeah. Look at that owl back there. I wonder what their price is on that. That's amazing. They have 150 on the glasses, so it makes me a little nervous for the owl, but I think it's probably worth asking at least. Is that Ashton? No? Look at this. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's a door. Wow. That's cool. Okay, so we are back at this booth, and this is one of the pieces I regretted not picking up the last time. It's a beautiful Murano uh, mantle luster. Absolutely stunning. Last week, the price was $175. Um, she told me it was $225 today, but I was like, well, last week it was $175, so I'm not sure what the price on that would be. And I still really love that little hot air balloon. It does have a chip on it, though, it looks like, so we'll see. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. A lot of pink, huh, Juliet? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Pink. 
pink for girls. I don't know. Sometimes boys like pink too. Right, well, there's lots of uh, animals and critters over here. None are really jumping out at me as uh, Murano, though. What did you find? A bird? Oh, yeah, a bird, a carved bird. That's pretty neat. There's a horse. Yeah, a horse and some cows and stuff. Okay, so we are back in Daryl's booth. We've got the kids here. They're in awe of the glass. And uh, everything is behind glass cases, so I don't have to worry about their little fingers touching stuff. But um, I did just notice a really nice peacock vase that I'm going to pull out and show you guys. Um, it has a price of 75 on it. Um, Daryl, if we bundle all this stuff, he has a tendency to cut us a little bit of a break. So uh, we're going to go through this stuff right now, and I'm going to show you what we're buying today. So this vase right here um, has a coralline texture to it, so I pulled it out. It is, um, it's, it's painted though, it's not um, green all the way through, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I think we're going to see what else we can find. Alright, well I've noticed a lamp back here in the back. I got that on video! <laughs> oh, I bet he was. Alright, I'm going to check out this lamp, but I need both hands. So there's all these people dancing and having a good time. It is reverse painted, and then uh, the people are painted on the outside. And uh, there's also the light that goes with it, and this sits on top. And he's got 125 on that. I feel like that's reasonable, because that's a beautiful lamp. I bet it would look gorgeous lit up. So we're going we're gonna to pull that out. See this? Oh my god. See, this is even cool. <laughs> the poor kitty. Look at the cat. Oh my gosh. Poor, poor little guy. Oh, that's Look crazy. At the moon smiling. Yeah, and the moon's just, like, well, you know. It's a good, really nice shape. Maybe the cat deserved it. Maybe. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, that's, don't the moon, you put that on that's what the moon is saying. That'll I don't know. I'm interpreting you, it. You go against the cat people. <laughs> Holy cow. I can't believe she said that. Chris, Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Chris, cat. I know I've seen that before. I just I can't remember. Yeah, I do. I do three and a half. Okay. Anytime you see something that you like, just seriously. Okay. Just ask. All right. Cool. Yeah. You, you never I know. figure we'll make a pile yeah, and then just figure it out. He's cute too. <laughs> yeah. Well, he. I had to pay for him because yeah. I liked him because he, his legs are like my doll. You put his legs out straight. Uh huh. See how he did it. Yeah. And I just think it's just. I never seen oh, anything like that. That's great. And mommy. What? Mommy wanted this. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like the little the little doggy down that's here. It's a little napkin ring. Gosh, I've never seen the napkin rings right? before. Yeah, just brought that in. My goodness. Um, Don't you take a bite out of that <laughs> How much did you end up putting on the skull? Enough. Enough? <laughs> I put, uh, I'm going to say, it'll, it'll go in the, the Nippon collection. Collectors yeah. are coming in two weeks. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take like 11 and a half. Yeah. If somebody comes in, they want it for the collection. Oh I my gosh, make it's a so amazing. I know, you, I know you paid up for it because it was just yeah, so cool. Well, so. It's the truth. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. But they, they have their big meeting in two weeks. Okay. Uh, all right. They're, they're all coming in, so. Now's the time to will, put it out. Yes. <laughs> and it looks cool. It's, I've it's so cool. This morning, and since you put it online, of course, yeah. people were driving hours just to come in here <laughs> and, and have and, the spirit. Yes, of and, and you to look at and, this and, look and at take that. it in. Yes. <laughs> it's not a salamander. Owl. You like the owl, too. I was noticing the owl. He's got 775 on that. I feel like these two pieces we overlooked last week. We should, we probably should have grabbed them. Like you think so? They're kind of neat. What are they? Are they USSR? Uh, I can't read them on them. Yeah, I'm having a hard time figuring the that one out. The is glaring me. Yeah. Well, if you get the figurines, I get the owl. Well, I don't care if you get the owl. <laughs> This looks like a Komodo dragon almost. I think it looks like a salamander. A salamander. <laughs> I was going to say Komodo dragon. Ashton vote is salamander. So these owls are just everything. I'm obsessed. And I think it might be amphora, but I can't really make it out. Oh, it says, I think it says France. Maybe, or maybe I just can't read. Where? 7.75. Obviously we're going to make a pile. I love those figural owls, though. They're so expressive. <laughs> I like the glaze on. And the glaze, is, yeah, it's it's an interesting glaze. Well, I think I think it says made in France. I don't know what you think it's. I, th I thought it was amphora, but it's. It, I don't think it is.
What does that say? Oh, he's got the loop. German? <laughs> HB and Co. Okay. No, HB and CE. Interesting. Choicey? I don't know. France. France, okay. All right, so it's France. Yeah, it's definitely French. It's a French piece. Yeah, it's very rainy, and there doesn't appear to be any damage. It, seems, it looks like there's maybe some mold uh, mold marks on the noses, but um, yeah, yeah, that's you, manufactured. Uh, yeah, so. you can see it was done. It was yeah. over. Yeah, no, that's great. I think that'll be our big item of the day. Yeah, Here is a really neat looking fish, and I love that it's kind of two toned. It has a cranberry, but then it has um, a light glass. Uh, he's got one. He's on one ninety five. He's got ninety five dollars on this, and I love the color combination. I think that's really what's drawing me to this one in particular. So it's like cotton um, candy. It looks like cotton candy. It does kind of look like cotton candy. There's no damage on it. I like Only that. Only if fish. the tip was a little lighter. A little lighter. You look think? at my nails. You have beautiful nails. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day nails. Yeah. All right, so um, we'll add this to our pile as well. Here is a rabbit plate. $95. That one is signed. That's a really nicely done art pottery piece. I love the rabbit. And over here is an Ibex. Looks like this might be a different artist. No, it might be the same, same signature. That one is 75 on that. All right, so maybe we'll add this one to our pile. What is that one in there? That's a pretty one, huh? So see that vase there? And I love this one. We might have to go around and check out that blue one. Okay, be very careful with it. It's steady. All right, you got it? Yep. Two hands. You know the drill. Right. That's 85. Look at how pretty the base is. Yeah. The flowers. The yeah. satin glass. And the price on that is $85. That's beautiful, though. I think that's a good piece for spring. Yeah. Spring yeah. flowers. And then like mom it. has that. Right oh, I'm, this is consolidated glass. Phoenix consolidated glass. We're not buying this one, though. No. Okay. okay. We're going to buy the blue one. Then there's that and everything else. <laughs> All right, we can turn it off now. All right, so I wanted to take a closer look at this. You're right. I'm thinking, you know, that, that at least I don't see any signatures on it. It looks rainbow. It does look a little rainbow, doesn't it? What the I think it's ceramic. Pretty good shot. I like that. Oh, I little see where it's too. marked there. While see? Up. see? Yeah. yeah, okay. I've never seen that before. I really like it. It's cool stuff. Yeah, it yeah, is. You don't definitely. see a lot of it. And this one's more vibrant. And that's even. That brighter because yeah. probably it wasn't in the sun. Okay. Oh, well, that, that makes one, sense. That one could have been. Yeah, yeah interesting. But, I like it, and, and, and honestly, I'm 64, and I probably have only had a chance to buy maybe 10 pieces. Yeah. I really love this yellow vase with the gold on it. Let's see if I can slide this open. Get a closer look at that. $250. Yeah. Oh, it's even got a little buggy on it. That's great. Yeah, I really love this color. This one is marked 95. It's a uh, ceramic, but look at the food dogs on the handles. I'm assuming those are probably, they could be elephants, but it looks like they're, I don't know, I would say food dogs. They look like new haircut. You are so silly. <laughs> You're both unicorns now. Pretty little unicorns. Um, I really like the colors of that, so we'll add that to our pile as well. Here's another vase up here that I'm somewhat smitten with. We'll pull this one out. I don't recall if this one was here last week. Slide everything over just a little. Ooh, makes me so nervous to get this guy out. Look at that. 175 on that. Again, I think it's the colors that are drawing me to that orange and the purple. <laughs> well, of all the things I've bought today in this booth, this might be one that I end up keeping for a little while. I don't know. Just because of the color combination. Oh, so many beautiful things. I wish I could buy them all. Here's a Mondrezado vase. Let's see what the price is on this one. 95 Yeah, that's alright. Right about at retail, so I don't think there's a whole lot of room for us there. 
Uh, this one up here is stunning. Look at that. It is Fenton Meeks 175. Oh, that's gorgeous contrast. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Okay. I think we're just about done. I think we've seen a lot today. It's kind of overloading. It's, I'm overloaded. <laughs> but I'm trying to pick out the pieces that I would have regretted leaving behind. One piece in here that I noticed last week when I was editing, then I was like, why didn't I look at that before? And it is right here. A beautiful red and green swirl dish. Likely Murano. There's no price on it though, so we'll have to get his price on that. At the end of all this, I'll give you guys a total of everything um, and what we pay for it. This one doesn't actually have a price on it. It feels like it, kind of an etched texture. It says made in Sweden on the bottom, and it is a milk glass. I'm not sure what his price would be on that, but I really, I like the dog. I think that's why I like it. I like the dog. So we'll see what uh, the price is on that. All right, well, I think this is going to be my last piece. Ashton says, thank you. We've spent way too long in this booth, huh, Mr. Unicorn? I did Ashton's hair. I, I you definitely did. It looks wonderful. <laughs> um, this is a little box for 85 with butterflies painted on it. And all the hinges are in order. And a lot of the times when I find them, the hinges are all jacked up. But uh, this, this is pretty good. Like the butterfly on that? Yeah. It's pretty nice, huh? All right, I think this is going to be the last piece that we add to our pile. That's beautiful. Now, you, this is a good story. Yes. Okay. No one knows who did that bowl. That's a Fenton Dragon and Lotus yes. Amethyst Carnival Bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that bowl, someone enameled it, probably in yeah. the 30s and 40s. No one knows who. They did a nice job. They did do a nice job. It That's sold what I was an noticing. option yes. about six months ago. Uh -huh. A friend of mine bought it. Yeah. He got tired of it. So How could you get tired wanted, of this? He wanted something I had. He brought it in. <laughs> he traded, me, traded it back to me. I left him buy it at auction. Yeah. And that's how it returned to its location because he wanted something I had. So I got it back. It's just, it is an absolute. It's so cool. I've never seen it before. Me neither. Yeah. And when he bought it, he paid a lot of money over that price. Oh, yeah. Ashton, but here, that's I'll take the, it. That's the story. Hi, that's really That's how neat. I got it back. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just enameled dragon alerts. I, I love it. A regular bowl like that without enamels, probably 75 Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. With my hair. That one is different. It's beautiful. Yeah, I really like that. Gouda Holland. The frog's on it. Interesting. I don't see a price on it, though. And this is actually butterfly wings. That's beautiful. Here's a little uh, Palatnik uh, Brazil Lucite squirrel. And those geese in the back are fantastic. All right, so let's see how. Oh, look at the ballerina. She's beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's see if we can get some prices. Here's some little mushrooms. Uh, the bottom is actually marked made in Austria, and here's a handmade in Austria. Interesting. All right. Well, this booth vendor has stepped away for a minute, so we're just waiting on them to come back to get some prices. Look at the outsider art. <laughs> Here's a spider web that's etched. All right, so I just picked up this handful of figurines. They were $5 each. Uh, the bowl was 200 and there was damage on it. Um, I guess if there was no damage, it would be worth a lot more, um, but I just couldn't pay that. And I think the, um, the check... The checkers board was uh, 125 so this is what we got, and we're going to keep going. Oh my gosh, there's a puppy. Oh my gosh, it's a puppy. <laughs> it's so cute. That bird is just so cool looking. I have to maybe get a price on that, and these are Viking uh, ashtrays. Those are Finland. Gosh, this owl. This owl is amazing. You like the sparkly shoes, and I'm all about that owl right there. 
I wonder if we can get a price on that. Um, and then there's a pair of Murano birds right there. Maybe try to find a vendor for this booth. That was kind of unexpected, but it's actually a candle. I thought it was ceramic. I don't know. I have to want to buy the candle. Shipping candles makes me nervous because I'm always worried that they're going to melt in transit. Or is it just a lighter? Uh, no, it's just lighter because it's lit. Yeah, no, I really like that color combination. So we're going to buy the Hager lights for 150. Absolutely. I'll take it. All right, well, that was a busy morning here at Renninger's Antique Market. We picked a few things up that I regretted leaving behind from last week. And of course we visited Daryl again and bought a ton of glass. Uh, what was your total spend on the glass? Yeah, it was like 2200 Yes, I think Something it was like, like around $22. I thought he said 27 but it was somewhere in the 2000 range. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. with some great pieces today. The kids are hungry, so we have to go feed them. Uh, and we're going to get out of here, so we will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.